Hey everyone, welcome back to another tech tip here at 45 Drives. So today I'm going to be going back actually to a video that I did quite a while back and it was called Migrating Virtual Machines uh, from ESXi to Proxmox. And I've always wanted to do a follow-up video to that because I feel like I could have done a better job explaining not how just to migrate uh, disks from one VM on ESXi to another VM on Proxmox, but to actually how to fully migrate a full virtual machine from one hypervisor to another, and then also what you want to do if you want to, let's say, decommission an ESXi server and fully migrate everything over to Proxmox. So this video is going to go a little more in-depth on that and the process and how you'll do it. All right, so today I am going to do a demo and we're going to show this off in real time. But before I do that, I just want to talk about kind of what it is I will be showing off. So thankfully, uh, at some point, I'm not exactly sure when, ESXi adopted the OVF format or the Open Virtualization Format, which is an open source framework uh, for virtual machines. And so there's actually a tool that ESXi has up on, on the web, or sorry, VMware has up on their website that you can grab for Windows or Linux or other environments. And so that's the OVF tool. And what that allows you to do is to, from your Proxmox server, actually connect to an ESXi server and pull down the entire uh, disk format of all of your, of your VM and also the OVF file itself. And what that is is a manifest file. And that manifest file contains things like the CPU cores of your VM, the memory, the network configuration, and things like that. And that's really the magic part. That's what's going to allow you to essentially, in a single command, migrate a full VM from ESXi over to a Proxmox environment. And Proxmox is going to know exactly what to do with that file and how to provision a virtual machine with the same specs as the original VM. Uh, so that's what we're going to show off today. And uh, so without further ado, let's head on over to my desk and we'll jump into it right now. All right, so now that I'm back to my desk, we are going to run through the full migration. So I'm going to show off two methods, like I mentioned. Um, first is if you need to migrate a single virtual machine from a ESXi environment over to a Proxmox environment. This is really good and ideal if you still intend to have both environments up and, and you're not going to get rid of any of these environments, but you just have to migrate a VM or want to migrate a VM uh, for one purpose or another into the other uh, hypervisor and to do it very, very quickly and efficiently. Uh, the second method is going to be showing the best way to do this if you plan to decommission your actual ESXi server. So that's getting all the virtual machines that might be on that host migrated over to Proxmox in the fastest and most efficient way possible. Uh, and so for the majority of this, we're going to use the OVF tool, which is a really cool tool. Um, ESXi has, has adopted the OVF format, the open virtualization format, which is really nice to see because it is an open source standard. Uh, and so that tool that we're going to be using can be found here. It'll be in the link uh, in the description if you want to download it to test this for yourself. Uh, but that's going to be the tool we're going to be using from our Proxmox server. So we first have to uh, download it to our Proxmox server and make it uh, executable so we can run it. And that's where we're going to be running our commands from. So with that being said, uh, let's just set the stage here. So I have a Proxmox, or sorry, I have an ESXi host here. I've got an Ubuntu VM. I'm just going to run it and, uh, very quickly to make sure and show that it's working as intended. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to move this guy over to Proxmox and bring him up over there uh, with as few steps as possible to make it as easy as possible. All right, here we go. It's up now. Let me just log in. There we go. So we know we're up. Now I'm going to shut this down, and we are now going to migrate this guy over to our Proxmox host. So first we wait for it to come down. And let me bring up our steps here just to show off. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to download and install our OVF tool. Uh, from VMware. So I've already done that, but I'm just going to run through the, the process of it. Uh, we'll go through the process of making it executable and actually running it and using it and installing it. Uh, so here we go. So our VM is now offline. So let's bring up our terminal here. So this is our Proxmox host. 
So once you download uh, this OVF tool, you can grab it onto your Proxmox host anyway. You may be able to curl it if you can get the download link here. Uh, I just SCP'd it from my Windows machine. So we can see here, VMware tools. Uh, first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna make it executable. Um, you can see that I already have. But once you make it executable, it's as simple as doing a dot slash, name the tool, that will install the actual OVF format tool. And from there, you'll be able to use OVF tool. Um, so with that being said, let's move on. So the syntax to actually uh, migrate a VM over to this machine looks a little bit like this. So you call the OVF tool, you go by root for your ESXi host, uh, the IP of the ESXi server, the name of the virtual machines, and then the local dir that you're actually looking to migrate this to. Um, so this may take a little bit of time or a lot of time depending on how much data is in your um, VM and it is doing some uh, actual conversion as well here too. So I'm going to move it to a ZFS directory and let's run that right now. So you can see now we're going to log into our ESXi server. So you use your root password. Ah, one mistake, I already put that here. So I'm just gonna uh, put it to a new place. Okay, I'm gonna throw it into ZFS1 and a directory called new. All right, do that again. All right, so here we go. So now it's writing the OVF package. Uh, this is really cool because it's not only sending over the uh, the disks themselves, but it's writing sending over the OVF uh, manifest, and that will give us you know the cores, the CPU cores, the memory, all that type of stuff, the network, um, and it will allow Proxmox to take all this information and immediately just provision a VM with this exact specs for us. So this is going to take a little while. Uh, unfortunately, I'm stuck on a 100 megabit network right now, uh, but once it completes, we'll come back. You know, since I did this already off camera, what I think I may do is just cancel this and we will continue from the one that's already been completed. So let's quickly do this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into ZFS1 and unto our Ubuntu migrate that I sent over already. So what you can see here is we have our Ubuntu migrate disk one VMDK. We have our NV RAM dump. Uh, we have our MF file and our OVF file. So the OVF file is the one that we're really uh, interested in here. And we can also pull up our Proxmox because this is pretty cool the way it does this. All right, so, oops. The command we're going to run is as follows. We can see here, we've got OVF tool, or sorry, we've got uh, QM, import OVF, we want the VM ID that we want to give it. So we can see we've got a whole lot of different VMs running right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it the VM ID of 333. The manifest is the actual OVF file. It's going to tell Proxmox everything it needs to know. Finally is the storage where you actually want to store this virtual machine. So if we come up here to our storage here, we can see oh, we've got some We've got some RBD, we have some ZFS, uh, we have some local, and I'm gonna put it on the RBD uh, pool, and we'll go from there. So let's go back, let's bring this up, and let's run our QM, import OVF, and we want to go ZFS1, want to migrate in that actual OVF file, and then finally the storage where we want to store it. So let's run that command. go it's starting to transfer the data over for us here we go we're at 100 percent this will probably hang for another few seconds but while we wait let's head on back to our esxi host and take a look at our specs so we can see this one had four vcpus it had eight gigs of ram it had a 16 gig disk and it had a regular network adapter so let's take a look back here and see if we're ready yet or if it's complete uh, just a few more seconds. There we go. 
go. So it's now completed, and there we go. We can see our RBD is now, in fact, here. So we've now migrated this from what was on NFS storage in our ESXi server when we come over here. We can see this was on a share here that is an NFS export. Um, and what we've now done is we've migrated that into our Proxmox environment where it is now being hosted on an RBD storage completely separate and actually a completely different cluster than what the uh, ESXi server is hosted on. Um, so there we go. So now all we have left is let's try to start it up. And there we go. So let's try to log back in again just to make sure we're all good. Go. It looks like it did not bring over our network interface, however, so that is something that we can add in ourselves, however. So let's go network device and let's go to add. There it is, and so we can bring that up or we can just reboot and it will come up. So that's that. That's how we would bring a VM and migrate it over very, very quickly, very efficiently. But what if you wanted, what if you had you know, dozens of VMs or, or more and you're looking to decommission your ESXi server and you want to bring everything over to a new Proxmox server? Well, there are a few ways you can do it. Um, but really what we just use is a really efficient way. The only difference that I would recommend is that because we're decommissioning the ESXi server, it's best to try to mount that storage locally on the ESXi server. So the really cool thing about the OVF tool is it will actually let you, actually bring this up, it will actually let you send um, the information about the virtual machines without a disk. So you can do a dash dash no disks uh, input. And what it will do is it will send over all of the manifest data about each of your VMs. So you could do this you know, multiple times, one for each VM. Uh, but it won't actually send over the disk, so it won't take a very, very long time to migrate from one storage to the other, especially if you want to potentially use the same storage. So what you can do is you can run through and do an OVF tool, uh, same command that we ran before, but with the no disk tab, it will essentially instantly run, take two seconds to send over that OVF file. And then once you have all your VMs moved, then it's as simple as, okay, now I'm going to actually mount that NFS data store. So the one that our ESXi server is connected to right now, uh, this one right here. You can actually mount that because it's NFS, of course, you can mount that really anywhere. So what we could do is we could mount it to the Proxmox host once you have all your VMs ready to be migrated. And then we can start individually importing all of those VMDKs on the NFS share. And actually, if I show you right here, so we can say, for example, I've already done this, but if you take a look, I've already mounted that NFS export, the one that is on the ESXi server. I've mounted it in my Proxmox host. And so now I have access uh, right locally to any, and then we can go in there, mount pitch. You can see these are all of the uh, VMs that we, I've had. Now, obviously not many here because it's just a test environment, but if you had you know, hundreds or dozens of them on here, you would now have access to the actual, and I'll go into here, the VMDK for all of these VMs. So once you run through the command of an OVF import and importing without disks, now you have all of those manifests ready so you can start creating these essentially sparse VMs, right? What it will do is it will spin up a VM without any hard disks because you're just essentially putting the OVF manifest data about the VM itself. Once that's all moved over, it's as easy as, okay, now I have all my VMs, I have these sparse VMs with no disks in them. Now I can start importing these VMDKs and even converting them into RBD or some other type of storage that you want to. Or if you don't want to move it to a different type of storage, you can essentially just say, okay, well, I don't want to move it uh, on RBD, I'm happy with NFS storage, but then what you would do is you would convert it, right? You would convert it from a VMDK to, let's say, a QCAP2 or, uh, or or even a RAW format, and, and I can kind of show you that here as well. So for example, um, once we ran through and, and moved, let's say, created a manifest, you could really just start um, importing the disk, selecting the actual VM you want, 
and then going through selecting the disk and then selecting where you want it, which is really, really nice. Um, so yeah, that's kind of two ways that you can migrate a virtual machine or multiple virtual machines into uh, a Proxmox server. Um, I didn't cover iSCSI on this. Now, iSCSI actually is a little different uh, because you would actually have to install something called VMFS 6 tools, and that would let you physically mount a VMFS file system on your Proxmox server, which is pretty cool. Um, and if anyone is interested and wants to see me take uh, an iSCSI disk that, let's say, is mapped into ESXi with a VMFS file system on it and multiple virtual machines on it, and being able to migrate that into uh, a Proxmox server, mount that file system, and be able to read those uh, read those disks and be able to import those disks into virtual machines on, on Proxmox, it's definitely something I can do as well. Uh, just let me know. With that being said, I think that covers everything I wanted to show. All right, so I'm back in the studio again, just wrapped or wrapping everything up. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. You saw how easy it is once you kind of use the framework and the OVF tool to be able to migrate your virtual machines. Um, maybe if anyone wants me to really go in depth on fully um, scaling down an entire ESXi server and migrating an entire thing over to Proxmox, um, and you want more in depth detail on that, let me know and I can definitely do that. Also, I only showed NFS in this video, right? Uh, NFS is quite easy, obviously, to move between different environments. Uh, so if you want to have a more in-depth video on how to take an iSCSI disk, mount it into a Proxmox environment, and then actually using the VMFS 6 tools, being able to mount the VMFS file system, let us know as well, and we can kind of do some, another follow-up video uh, with even more detail if that's something you're interested in. Uh, so with that being said, thanks for attending another one of our tech tips, and we'll see you next time.